some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I will be covering something I saw on Unclean Hands channel. He was covering a recent uh, live stream done by Jeremetha, Last Days of Freedom. And there was something that was said by this idiot uh, that I have just got to comment on. So it's going to be mainly focused on this one little comment. Because you know what? It was an outright freaking lie. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So how they got me extradited, I don't know. Yeah, both of us, me and my wife. Well, they said something about a box truck, though, a Penske truck or something like that. Took a bicycle and then took the damn big Penske truck to put the bicycle in her. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't keep, I couldn't keep up. That was it. when, yeah, we were moving, dude. Right. And I went to Walmart. I still have the receipt on my cash app, dude, where I bought the bike. It was, yeah. you don't walk out of Walmart with a $400 bike. Bullshit. Might ride that motherfucker out, but I ain't walking out of that. Yeah. You ain't gonna ride it out either. The fucking um security would tackle your ass. Um Uh no, uh that is not exactly entirely true, Jeremetha. I personally have worked at two stores and uh been witness to a lot of theft in both of those, and they all had both of those stores had security protocols going, and they still managed to uh, lose a lot of expensive uh, product. Like I recall one time where uh, when I was working in the TLE Tire Loop Express, somebody managed to open a uh, emergency exit door right outside of TLE, which linked right in the sporting goods department, and run out with a TV put it in the back of a truck and sped off with a uh, assistant manager running out the door calling code 100. Now, in this particular situation, our uh, store APM, asset protection manager, went across the street to Lowe's and talked to their APM about getting security footage because a Turns out that the Lowe's security camera managed to catch their license plate. So Lowe's handed over that security footage over to Walmart, and Walmart was able to prosecute those guys after they got caught later on down the road. But that's not always the case. Now, in addition, uh, during, one of the, during the time I worked there, Walmart had a policy uh, regarding uh, accusations of theft toward customers that no associate was to walk up or even imply that a customer had stolen anything. That means that if you suspect it, just go report it to a manager and see what the APM can do about it. This still resulted in so much theft once people figured this out. People were walking out of the front doors with 50-inch TVs, and there was nothing anybody could do about it. And the same goes for bicycles as well. So it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility that that kind of thing can happen, Jeremetha. I mean, it would be easy enough for somebody like you to commit these uh, acts. I know a guy who is very proud of the fact that he was able to steal anything from Walmart and get away with it most of the time. And he even shared a few of those techniques with, with some of his friends. But you know, the thing was, uh, all the APMs and all the uh, stores in that district knew who this guy was, and uh, were on the lookout for him. In fact, I recall one time where uh, I saw the APM standing in the middle of the aisle with his picture on her cell phone, and I asked about it, and she said, well, there's an all-points bulletin out on this guy because he has been stealing from all the local Walmarts and other stores. And she was like, well, do you know him? I was like, yes, I do know him. Then she asked me to give him a message from Walmart. If he does not stop stealing from them, 
then they will fully prosecute him because they've been building up a uh, file on him. Well, he got the message, but it didn't exactly sink in because about a month later, he was caught uh, red-handed after he stuffed a laptop down his pants. So he spent the next couple of years behind bars, but he still didn't learn anything. In addition, dude, uh, what you said about the security guards, well, I guess it really varies from store to store depending on how much the store makes because the stores I worked at and the surrounding areas, they didn't really have any security guards that would tackle you. Now, I'm not saying that's Walmart as a whole, but there might be some Walmarts who uh, actually have security guards, but not all of them do. And there's certainly a lot of ways to steal things from Walmart. I mean, this uh, guy I knew, he figured out all sorts of creative ways to get by. So basically, Jeremetha, it's not exactly out of the realm of possibility that you walked out the front door with that bike. All right, guys, that's all I really wanted to address out of this particular uh, point right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.